Percy Sledge, known for his 1966 hit single, When a Man Loves a Woman, was in Macon yesterday to perform that song and many others at Washington Park for a second Sunday concert. It was a homecoming to the city that gave him some of his biggest breaks. Tom George spoke with the R&B singer. When a man loves a woman If you don't know him by name, can't keep his mind on nothing else. Chances are you've heard Percy Sledge's music. When a man loves a woman, <laughs> and they'll, they'll know that. It's a song Alan Walden from Capricorn Records and Megan first heard over the phone before heading to Muscle Shoals, Alabama to meet the man behind the voice who had just given an enema at his hospital job. And uh, he peeled off his rubber glove, and, and uh, uh, I shook his hand. I said, Percy Sledge, you're going to be a star. And he said... Uh, do you think I can quit this job? <laughs> Shortly thereafter, in 1966, When a Man Loves a Woman became Walden's first number one single as a manager. Sledge had become such a success, Walden invited him to move to Macon. He offered to find him a home just as he did for the late Otis Redding. He had literally had it written into the contract that if any of the white citizens in that neighborhood objected, that uh, the sale would be null and void. The house Walden helped Sledge buy was in the Sherlington area of East Macon, which back then was a mostly white suburb. Two days before Sledge moved in, though, the house was found burned to the ground, believed to be arson. But the sting of segregation didn't keep Sledge from smiling. It's just life must go on. So I prayed and God got it out of my mind, and I just kept on going. Fast forward almost 50 years. This time, his welcome back to Macon would be different. It does take heart and courage to want to come back, you know, especially if you went through something like that. And we want you to know you are welcome here anytime, and we claim you as one of our own. Thank you so much. I would cherish this. After all, Sledge says he just can't keep his mind off the city that gave him so much. Because it's something that you can't describe. It's, it's such a deep, loving feeling that carries back so many, many wonderful memories of years. A feeling like a song that's timeless. In Macon, Tom George, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News. Walden says law enforcement never found out who burned Sledge's home. Percy Sledge is now 71 years old and still performing across the globe.